<laughs> it hurts so much to try to not say it, but I'm not going to say it. So, yeah, we'll skip that part. Um, so, although it is the most important part to starting a video is the first thing you say. You ask everybody something. But uh, I'm going to skip it. Anyways, yeah, uh, it's sometime in March. It's like the 25th or something. It's Saturday. Uh, working on some things. Um, not sure how to describe how those things are working. But this video is not the video I wanted to make because I wanted to make the um, build video for the Ken Park. That's what I wanted to do. But I had to order a part um for the ken park which i think is going to look really good uh and to get that part it came in a box so this video is going to be about opening that box it's an unboxing video i don't know if the mic picked that up that's my stomach i just drank some water anyway yeah i got my pre-orders too they're in here santa cruz at least the two I got. See? So a skateboard. Right there. Um, I wanted to get additional Santa Cruz, like the Klaus Gradke, um, but I just got that one from last year, and it looks really good. The black stain, it has the matte ink on it. I really like it. Um, and the new one looks dope, too. I mean, the one that just dropped, it's like, powder blue it's got very easter pastel colors so it's heavy like it looks good but it wasn't like the first one i wanted to jump on and uh the tom knox obviously the red tom knox as compared to the um, blue tom knox um i just got that blue one uh, i don't know what i would do with the red one in all honesty they're both the same board just slightly different color not slightly different red is obviously way different <laughs> blue but yeah still the same shape it's a small wheelbase too i think it's like a 1475 or a 1450 so i don't know that i would ever uh mount that board without re-drilling it to make the wheelbase 15 you know but uh yeah i passed on those two and uh the two that i got are actually in this box and i also got some uh additional goodies too that uh are going to kind of tip off what my next uh, couple of builds are going to be. These are from uh, Old Skull. Um, always reliable, always packs up really nice. Uh, this is the first one out. It's kind of sticky. You can kind of see. It's a double bagger. So they always do a uh, double sleeve. It comes, well, not a double sleeve, but uh, this is wrapped in plastic and then they put a sleeve on it. But yeah, there's the first one out, Jeff Kendall. Pumpkin graphics, one of my favorites of all time. Uh, my favorite skater, the greatest Smith Virtus to ever live, Jeff Kendall. I've never been able to do a Smith Virtus. I guess so. Uh, I don't know, there's still time. Maybe I can learn. But yeah, this one looks pretty heavy uh, in the pictures. And um, man, looking at it now, I'm actually really excited about the way that it looks, especially off of the white background, man. Forget about it. Look at that. It's kind of popping, it's blowing up, man. For real. Look at the orange sky, too. It's that hazy, like, I don't even know. Is that the golden hour, the after effects? That's a different kind of after or golden hour, after a nuclear strike on the nation's capital. You know, whose photo is that? Whose filter is that, I should say? Damn. It's hitting. Green glove hands. Looks like some VR stuff. Lawnmower man type shit. That's what I'm talking about, bro. It's sick, man. Like to see it um, in person, that might be a little dark because of the lights, but I'll back it up and hope the reflection doesn't hit too bad. 
Uh, I'll also take some pictures of it as well and put those in a post. But yeah, no, that looks really good. It's only like, what is it, three colors, four colors? Yellow, orange, black, and blue. Green is fine. Yeah, oh, it's really nice. Oh, uh, top sheet too. It looks like just a basic stain. Uh, maybe like a rosewood color. Um, it's got that laser etching in it um, till the end, 50 years. Uh, so this is an anniversary edition here. Kind of see. And this is a 10 by 30.12. This has the cruise missile uh, two concave on it. I'm not sure if you can really see it. It's one of my favorite concaves, I think, as far as reissues are concerned, especially on this particular shape with the wide tail. And it's got kind of that double bend. You can kind of see it bang, and it bangs up. So foot placement on that's sick. But I'm not talking about the performance of this fucking thing. I think we all know what it can do and what it has done and who's done shit on it and who hasn't. We're talking about how it looks graphically. And that one is sick, man. I like that one a lot. I think it uh, really pops really well. And with that green color and also the orange being as bright as it is, there's a lot of options here. A lot of options. Those all white indies would be the stage 11s on there. Forget about it. Oh man, I'm already seeing pieces come together. I really got stuff. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's the Jeff Kendall. Pumpkin reissue. Again, I think that, yeah, uh, 10 by 30.12, uh, 15 inch wheelbase. Yeah, but whatever. Specs are specs, but graphics are. That is heavy, man. That's a deep trip right there to a faraway land. Definitely. And it looks fairly well made. There's, a, you know, one or two, there's a little paint bubble in it, but. The finish looks good. It looks consistent, solid. The shadowing on the actual name looks dope too, man. Yeah. There's probably way more to it. If I look at it for long enough, I'll find, I would find more stuff, but yeah. High art, bro. Jim Phillips. All right, that's the first one out. Actually, that might be the best one. Uh, Next one, you can guess if you know the four. Um, it would be the Shepherd Fairy, uh, Corey O'Brien. It's interesting that uh, he would pick this one to be the one that he would redo, but whatever. Some people hate on that dude. Um, I actually worked at a clothing boutique for a period of time, for quite a few years, and uh, we carried Obey clothing. And uh, they were always generous. The salespeople were always generous with extras in the box, uh, promo stuff, giving me stuff below cost, anything that I wanted. A lot of the clothes that I have uh, are Obey. Loser Machine 2, which is kind of an Obey offshoot, Dark Seas. Um, so yeah, the reason I bought this was because of kind of that relationship. And I did, back in the day, you know, I had one of those Andre the Giant has a posse t-shirts. Um, I fucked with it. Um, I don't really rock any of the icon gear right now, you know. I see a lot of it out there, just the giant face and stuff like that. If you redid the original original, I would buy that. But the red box logo with the Obey and then just the Andre's eyes or whatever nose in there, I don't. I'm not really into that one. But the OG one was pretty fucking heavy. <laughs> but yeah, here's his take on the Corey O'Brien. Iconic Santa Cruz graphic. I know people think this one is gross. I know a lot of people that think any all of the Santa Cruz graphics are gross in a way with all the skulls and stuff like that. But I mean, this one was pretty big for me as a kid, um, and this was one I couldn't really let go of. That's why I have the red and silver one. Um, I also had the one on the blue base with the white face, but unfortunately, that one lost her time. But yeah, uh, his additions to it look pretty good. Uh, the little factory down here, kind of emitting smoke into the skull. Um, Santa Cruz, traditional font on there. You know, one thing that's missing, if you look at it for a second, that's always been there and now it's gone. No iron cross right there, you know. 
it's interesting that they took that out. I wonder if that was uh, discussed. Yeah, because it had it like right on both sides there and there. It still has it on my uh, previous one, the one I got, I think 2018 maybe, maybe 17. The black, silver, and red one that I have has the cross in his name. Uh, this one looks good. The updated uh, skull, uh, the fingers are different. I believe on the one I have, he has two fingers out. And I think there's some kind of message with the factory and with the oil, uh, whatever that is. I forget what those things are called. But uh, I don't know. I'm sure he has some underlying political shit that he's putting into this. Like, oh, yeah, here's my current campaign on, you know, the fossil fuel industry or something like that. <laughs> but it's not super overt. Um, so, you know. I guess the dollar signs and the skull are kind of over, like they're putting profits over people. How dare they? Actually, why am I starting to hate on this now as I'm looking at it? <laughs> That's kind of funny. But no, I'm still cool with it. I'm still chill with it. Yeah, this is a wall hanger. This is the one you take out and skate, I don't think, for me anyway. Like I said, I do have a connection to Obey and... They can do no wrong in my eyes in a lot of ways, you know. Um, the, uh, except for the Obama shit. Obama really turned out to be a total letdown. Nice guy, but Jesus Christ, he was a super warmonger. Man, killing tons of people. I should probably edit that out. I'm going to put this thing down because it's channeling me by bad vibes. But uh, yeah, there it is. Um, there's the Obey. Santa Cruz. Obey logo underneath and uh, triangle. You can see the laser etching on the top. This is the same shape as it's always been. So this is a nine six or a nine eight point five by thirty. This is a fifteen inch wheelbase on here. So yeah, looks pretty good, pretty rad. Like the way it turned out. Definitely uh, not a skater though. It's gonna be a wall hanger. Right on. Well, what else is in there? Oh. Note. Thank you. Happy spring. All right. Cool. Well, how can I save five dollars? Save okay, for fourteen days after. Oh, wow. All right. Let's check this next. Day. This is actually the part I was waiting on to continue the uh, Ken Park. These are just bolts. I think you can see the blue color on there. Oh, man. So yeah, we'll do, we'll mess with that in the next video. Put it over here with the other part that I've got going, which is pretty cool. These are all, uh, this is a reissue wheel. Uh, man, the box got mashed up and shipping, but that's okay. The box really isn't. This is the uh, little 45mm swamp wheel um, that they recently reissued. Um, let's see. Big Pants 1%. Oh, this is the nutritional facts, by the way. Big Pants 1%. Small Wheels 42%. Curbs 4%. XXXL 99%. Goofy Boy 99%. Pressure flips, 10%. 1992, 100%. Wow. Okay, so they spent some time writing something that really doesn't make much sense, but whatever. I mean, why not? And they put it in this little box, too. That's kind of cool. Uh, so, yeah, I got these, uh, and you can probably guess maybe why I got them. Um, I was talking to uh, somebody, a commenter, a subscriber, someone who I subscribe to, uh, someone who I had an enjoyable exchange with and I got to thinking about building a small wheel build and this was right when I actually got the um, Alien Workshop reissue and I thought man that would be cool but where am I going to source parts from so I think Toxic does a small wheel that they put back out but I was like man I've never really skated that and then I saw the ad for these and I thought man that could potentially be something really dope. Um, so yeah, 
I'm going to wait and see what they do with that. And then when they actually did put them out, I thought, damn, dude, they're green. They kind of match that uh, Alien Workshop. And then on top of that, Andy put out the Stage 4 again, which is uh, not available in this area, unfortunately. None of the skate shops around here picked it up. Um, and it's kind of like a deal where if it's online, um, it's still not coming out for like another month or something like that. So that's kind of disappointing. It kind of feels exclusionary, you know, but whatever, I'll still get it at some point. And potentially that would be the perfect truck because, you know, it's a, a 90s kind of, well, it was late 80s when it came out, but it worked its way into the 90s before stage five really came out. So that'd be a good truck to add or a period correct um, small wheel build. So yeah, that's kind of dope. So yeah, there it is. Uh, swamp wheels, uh, green and pink squirreled, 45 millimeter. Fuck, dude. I am struggling tonight for some reason. I have no idea why. I started out like feeling like it was a good time to do this, but I don't know. I think it was that goddamn Shepherd's Ferry. <laughs> Shepherd Ferry, I'm sorry. Shepherd's Ferry. Sounds like some kind of ice cream or some shit. But yeah, right on. Small wheels, man. I'm going to build a period correct small wheeler, which is going to be sick. And then maybe I'll do a, a pressure flip on it if I can. I'm not sure. Either way. Right on. And uh, let's see, that's the last thing in the box. Well, I'm glad the box for this didn't get smashed too much. Well, it's not a box actually. It's smashed a little bit. Got the Roscop slime ball. <laughs> Couldn't help myself on this one. I saw these and I was like, yo, that's, that's dope. And the color, I don't know if you can see that blue kind of clay color. Yeah, that made a lot of sense with that Roscoff, the Roscoff arm. So that might give you a hint on, you know, another upcoming build that I have an idea for. Yeah, this is the vomit shape, which is their classic shape. I ride the uh, snake vomits on that madness. And then I have the goobers, which is a vomit shape on my Dogtown uh, web. So I'm really familiar with this shape. I'm really familiar with this hardness. I like the way it performs does almost everything that I ask it to. It's fast, it maintains its speed. And I think these are gonna be great, man. Especially that pink, that blue. It hits just like that hits. So, man, I don't know. Things are coming together, I really can't believe it. And I don't know if it's just like a clever marketing ploy by Santa Cruz or it's just random that all this stuff is kind of coming up and working out the way that it's working out. It's wild talking about building a small wheel board and then they reissue small wheels. And it just so happens that it matches the small wheel board that I have that was reissued around that same time in 92. And then the Andy's on the back of that coming back, dude, which I'm so stoked on. I mean, I'm bummed out that my local shop doesn't carry them and that you can't order them off the internet or whatever, but I guess eventually I'll be able to buy a pair, hopefully, if not, you know, It'll be frustrating, but I'm not going to quit skateboarding and I'm not going to give up on independent because of that. I might, though. You never tell. I'm erratic. Um, but yeah, these two, man. I'm stoked on these. Stoked to build a Roscoff. I've never skated a Roscoff. Like I said in the video when I unboxed that, the homie Alan White skated them, man. And I think it'll be a fitting tribute, you know, throw something together with this set of wheels and that board maybe some nd titaniums you know what i mean maybe maybe some hollows i don't know stage 11s on there would be dope it's gonna work out so yeah all in all roscoff slime balls really stoked on these that's the classic shape 60 mm and a 98 these swamp wheels the reissue in those in green and per or pink, I'm sorry, I almost said purple. Those OJs, those are looking fresh. Hopefully they look as good when I finally take them out of the box to put them on that glow in the dark workshop visitor. Hopefully that'll have any stage fours on it too, which will be sick. I mean, that, is it all coming together? Is there something weird in the air? Like, is the world just working out in such a way? 
or I have been trapped in some sort of scheme of clever marketing that will slowly wheedle away at my bank account with each new up and coming release. I'm confused by the whole thing. I don't know. It's going to be a hell of a ride either way. The Corey O'Brien strip down reissue, no iron cross, message about driving your car. Don't use too much oil. Go out and ride a skateboard, man. Maybe this one. I don't know. I'm not mad at it. It's called a Derrick, right? Oil Derrick. Is that what that is? Oil Barrick, maybe? Oil Derrick, I think. Yeah. Plus, I think that's old news anyway, hating on oil companies. Isn't there new stuff to hate on? Shouldn't this be like the Corey O'Brien, I hate pharmaceutical companies it reissue? Shouldn't you move on to that? It's an old fight. Like, protect the environment? Whatever. Sheesh. Shepard. Last but not least, the real reason I ordered all this stuff was obviously this. This is makes up for any uh, feelings that I may have that, that, that Corey O'Brien may have invoked. <laughs> yeah. Cruise Missile 2. Pumpkin reissue. Really cool, man. Really dope. All right. So, yeah. That's my uh, unboxing of part of the wheel reissues, the new Roscoff wheels. Kendall reissue, O'Brien reissue with the Shepard Ferry Artist Graphics. Excited about everything. Uh, some things, other, some less than others, but irregardless. Um, yeah, so that's that. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I hope March was good. It was kind of a weird month here. We had warm stuff, warm up in the first part of the month. Everything was looking really good, and then we got some really cold air. And it's been raining. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, though, so I think it's going to clear off tonight, and then this wind that's here now is going to move out and, you know, be able to skate. Um, hopefully it won't be too crowded. It's been crowded lately, so it's really hard to videotape anything when there's a bunch of people there. But uh, I'm cool with crowds, man. You know, I don't have to take as many goes, so you know I don't get as beat up as I usually do. If there's no one there, and I feel the urge to just continue to go and go and go, but we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Hopefully it'll work out. I'm sure it will. <clears throat> Apologize for the, my uh, inability to speak properly. I must have. I know that my sentence structure and word usage was poor, but we made it through. Be on the lookout for uh, this being put together, that being put together. I'd go into the parts right now, but I don't want to go too far. You know, the trucks came out really good, though, man. That grind can keep creeper, man. That kingpin is like out of this world. Um, got some bearings. Indie blacks came up on those kind of low key. Um, and they kind of stimulated me to do a blackout with the rails and the tailbone. I've got some custom half inch risers. These were actually made in a garage in Monroeville. And I imported them back here to the city to the 16th Ward Zone 3 Southside Pittsburgh. So these are imported from Monroeville. We'll get into the details on those. Custom made for the Thunders. So looking forward to dropping those on there. Should be sick. Um, yeah, I got a ripper down there too. I don't know if you can see it. That's in the line too. I'm looking at that. Another set of mini logo trucks. If I can find that uh, raw and black 875s, I'd love to throw those on there. If not, I'll just get a classic pair of the polished. That thing is uh, looking sharp. Also, maybe, maybe possibly some Dragon Formula wheels. Uh, somebody asked me had I skated them, and I like I told them I knew that. A couple of people have had them, and everybody who's told me anything about them has said that the hype around them was annoying, but the actual product is, is pretty good. So I want to try it out. So I got three up-and-comers right there. Those will be the next moves, obviously, after uh, Ken Park gets put together. The next three months are kind of decided. Parts are still being decided, um, again, with the Stage 4s and how they're going to be accessible eventually on the Internet. So that one probably will be pushed back to you know, the latter part of the three. I'd like to fit it right in that cushy middle, you know, because I feel like that's a pillowy middle to be in. If you're, uh, you have Roscoff in front of you and a ripper behind you, you know, that's a good place to be. It's like a, 
It's like a zebra cake, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm going to figure that out. Somehow the world is going to show me, maybe through uh, mass marketing. But either way, I'm good as long as I get what I get and I got what I get and use what I have to make cool, complete skateboards. Because that's the object. That's the game. And we're going to win. We're going to build this Ken Park. All right, yeah. Hope everybody's well. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there's going to be more stuff to come. So.